Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play Persona 5 Last Surprise, okay? I'll be teaching you two sections in this song, in this lesson I mean. Okay, so there's two sections on my favourite sections of this song. The first section I'm going to teach you is the intro motif that appears, you can hear it like in the intro and also throughout the song as well. It goes something like this, I'll give you a preview. Okay, here it is, here's a preview of it, okay, check it out, it goes. Okay, so it seems pretty hard, but it's actually extremely easy once you understand the pattern of this first section. Okay, so the second section I'll play it afterwards. I'll give you a preview later on. And let's go ahead and work out this first section first. All right, so the first section, let's break it up into one, two, three, uh, four parts. All right, so okay, the first part goes like this. Here we go. Right hand, it goes starting on the E here, middle C here. We we'll go up an octave to this C, starting on the E right here. Okay, so it goes. E, F, E, D, and then it goes C, D, C, A, down to G, A. That's the first part, okay? One more time. So the first part goes like this, I guess. E, F, E, D, C, D, C, A, G, A, like that for the right hand, okay? So once you get that for the right hand, left hand is super simple. We have just bass notes, okay? So in the whole, in the whole intro, the left hand only has one note. It's the with the bass note. There's an octave D and D. Okay, so if you can't see that lower note, it's a D as well. So there's one octave below that. So in, in fact, I'll play it here. So it's D and D. Just do it a bit lower so it's a bit more bassy, okay? But anyway, that's the only notes that the left hand has, okay? So all you need to do is know where it comes in. So it goes together, 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 like that. Okay, just like that. So like this, together, together, together. That pretty simple, okay? So yeah, that's the first part already. So to go like that, pretty epic already. Okay, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues on. It goes E F E D C D C A and then A flat like that. That's the second part. Okay, so in essence, it's sort of similar to the first part, but just um, have an A flat for instead of the last two notes G and A in the first part. But anyway, one more time. So it goes like this. It goes. E, F, E, D, C, D, C, A, and then A flat like that for the right hand, okay? Okay, so that's the right hand. Left hand, once again, is just D notes, octave D notes, okay, for three times, okay? With that in mind, the two hands together just goes together like this. Check it out. So it goes E and D together, and then together, and then together, like that. Pretty easy, okay? So one more time, so it goes together, 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 like that. Right, so that is the second part that we've learned, okay? So, after the second part, I'm gonna now show you how the first two parts that we've just learned will be played back to back together like this. Check it out. So the first and second part. Like that, it's sounding awesome already, okay? But anyway, moving on to the third part. The third part goes like this, right hand it goes, E, F, E, D. Oh, in fact, actually, we didn't even need to do it. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, okay? So these patterns are quite important. It allows you to learn stuff quicker by knowing these patterns, okay? So this third part, exactly the same as the first part, remember? So we know it already, it goes like this. Easy, okay? So that's the third part, okay? Now, um, okay, let's do it one more time, so... Like that, that's how it goes, okay? But anyway... The first three parts that I've learned so far will be played back to back like this. Okay, check it out. So first three parts now goes back to back like this. Like that, okay. Moving on to the fourth part. And pretty much after this part, we know in the entire intro, sort of, because the patterns are pretty much the same. Okay, but anyway, one more time. So right hand, it goes... E, F, E, D, and then C, D, down to A, A flat, G, like that. And one more time for the right hand. So it goes E, F, E, D, C, D, down to A, A flat, G, like that for the right hand, okay? So once you get that for the right hand, left hand is just one D um, bass note, okay? So it goes like this, really simple. The first note on the right hand and the left hand is together, and that's it. Like that, okay? That's the fourth part. One more time, so it goes... Okay, so the 
last few notes on the right hand is like the slower uh, compared to the other times that we've done it. Okay, so you're like this. Syncopation. So if you hear it, da 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 da. In fact, it's, the right hand's pretty much in between of every synchronized uh, section of the beats. Okay, but anyway, yes, yeah, so it's like da 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 da. da. You can see this in between. The last five notes are always in between the, each of the beats. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to that and count it in your mind so it's easier to play that rhythm. So da 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 da. Like that. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty much it because afterwards you just repeat all the parts that we've just learnt except the last bit is just reduced the amount of notes on the right hand. So like this, so the first part again, second part, third part, and then for this fourth part it's reduced um, when you do it for the second time. It goes da 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 C D and you finish on the D and that's it. And that's it. Pretty simple, okay? So yeah. That's extremely simple. Basically, uh, the first four parts that we play the first time, you play the complete thing and then you repeat it again. But for the second time when you play it, the fourth part, we only play up to the D. Okay, da 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 da, and that's it for the intro. Pretty awesome. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's the intro of this song. Pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to the learning the other section of the song, which is the awesome chorus section. It goes like this it's more chordal and more melodious. Okay, check it out. Here's a preview. Okay. Goes like this. Let's see. Okay. Like that. Okay. Just like that. Let's go ahead and learn it. It's actually pretty easy. I want you to understand the patterns to it, okay? Okay, the first part, right hand goes like this, starts on the D here, middle C, C, D, okay? Three Ds, F, D, up to A, up to C, and then it goes uh, C, D, okay? Just like that. One more time for the first part, so it goes three Ds, F, D, up to A, C, C, D, like that for the right hand. All right, left hand, we have four chords. These four chords are very important in this, uh, uh, I guess, chorus section because these four chords repeat itself over and over again in this same um, order, okay? So the four chords are, check it out, is B flat major seven, which is B flat D, F, A. And then the second chord is A minor seven, which is A, C, E, G. And then the third chord is A flat major seven, which is A flat C, E flat G. Then we have G minor seven, which is G, B flat, D, F, okay? So remember these four chords really thoroughly and keep playing it because they're pretty much the same the whole way in the chorus. So B flat major seven, A minor seven, A flat major seven, and G minor seven are the chords. Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts first. A and B flat major seven together. After C, A minor seven by itself. And then A flat major seven by itself. G minor seven by itself. And the right comes in. Like that. That's it. One more time. So yeah. Together, here, 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 like that, okay. Moving on to the second part. The second part goes like this. Right hand goes uh, three Gs, F, D, F, G, G, F. That's it for the right hand. One more time, so it goes three Gs, F, D, F, G, G, F, like that for the right hand. Left hand, exact same chords, four chords as I said before. So B flat major seven, A minor seven, A flat major seven, and G minor seven. Well, you know that already. Let's go ahead and put the two hands together for the second part now. So it goes like this. B flat major seven by itself. Ryan comes in. Third G and A minor seven together. G and A flat major seven together. After F, G minor seven by itself. Just like that. All right, one more time. So it goes like this. Here. Together. Together. Here. Like that. And again. And then the rest of the... Uh, the third and fourth part is actually, you actually know it already, okay? Because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, but just taking away the first four notes. So we start right on the D, and then A, and B flat major seven together, like that. Exactly the same. And then the fourth part, exactly the same as the second part. Okay, so that's an easy chorus. See, these patterns are very important, allows us to learn stuff super quickly, okay? So remember, the third part is nearly the same as the first part, but you just take away from the three Ds plus the F and start right on the D and then A and stuff, okay? So yeah, let's play through all the parts of the chorus so you can see what's happening. So the first part is the longer one where you add D, 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 F, like, and then D and
part is the shortened version. That's it. Same as for... Yeah, just like that. The fourth, same as the second part. Easy. Okay, and that's it. These patterns allow you to learn the song really quickly. Hope you enjoyed learning this tutorial of this song. Go ahead and check out all my other piano covers and tutorials on this channel. I have a lot of them. I have like over 2,000 or something. So remember to subscribe if you have a to remember to subscribe if you are a piano enthusiast. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.